Okay, so I said that I would go over some more detailed instructions about the rear neck hit choke. All right, so I have Brett Price from the fire department. He's gonna prove how tough his neck is today, okay? So let's go over some basic concepts that are important about the rear neck hit choke. So the first one I put up with my son, it was a little difficult to explain because, you know, I was with a child, but his hand was more like this. Okay, and you see this very, very often in a rear neck hit choke situation. Okay, so a lot of times, you know, of course, our hooks will be in this and that. Now, in the in the video with my son, his hand was right here. Okay, and you see this quite often. You see people wrap up this choke and they go inside and they can't seem to finish it. They're squeezing, they're squeezing. All right, the problem is is people forget that. This is not a movie, this is real life. And a rear naked choke is a blood choke. We have to choke off the arteries, all right? In order to do that, we always wanna make sure that our elbow is even with the chin, okay? That's extremely important, all right? Now, with the recent uh, videos of John Donaher, <clears throat> the, you've seen a lot of people come in and grab the back of the neck, okay? And that, that does help because it's hiding the hand because they know they gotta peel your hand off, but they, what the people don't realize is that elbow's actually lining up with the chin automatically. So, if you don't grab the neck, what was taught years before is that you would come over and you try to grab the back of the trap, okay? And you wanna come up high. The reason why you come up high is because we're trying to reach the side of their necks. This is just a trait choke, okay? And it takes a lot longer for, for someone to choke out, okay? Now, as we come in, we want to make sure that elbow is inside, all right? Now, there's a couple of different ways to get your hand back here. Some do the comb of the hair, but as you get more and more technical, guys will stop this, all right? The whole point is they know they're being choked, all right? So let's turn to the side a little bit. Once we establish this position, one of the best things you can do is, like I said, is we've cupped the back, and we're gonna hide the hand by putting our chin on top. So now as Brett tries to grab my hand and pull it down, he can't get inside. He can grip into my wrist, but he can't get to my hand. He can grab my wrist, but once he pulls my hand, it's gonna come right off, all right? Another thing we can do is, once we get into this position, is we can break our back hand, which is normally here, we slide underneath and come behind. And that's how we set up the choke. This hand, if this gets caught, we can't finish the choke with one arm, all right? What we want to do, though, is not push on the back of their head. We really want to put pressure on the back of the neck. This is why the karate chop works better, especially if you can get your wrist or form in the back of his neck, because that's going to push his neck forward as this drives underneath. Remember, once again, we're not trying to choke his trach. We're trying to put pressure here, all right? This is why the elbow has to be lined in with the chin. So as I come in extremely high and I slide that in the back of his neck, all I have to do is slightly squeeze my arms together <laughs> and pull in, all right? So what I'm doing is I'm coming in and I'm gonna slightly put my hand in, I'm going to squeeze my elbows together and tight to my body, and I'm going to almost dig under and up, under and up, and that's going to allow my arm to squeeze in and choke that part of his body, okay? So we'll go back to the front. So that's the basic understanding of the lion tamer or the rear neck choke, okay? It is a blood choke, not a throat choke, not a trach choke. Now, how do we get under this chin? Well, that's a different situation, okay? So, Brett's a nice guy, so I'm not gonna try to tear his face off or anything like that, okay? But I'm gonna go through a couple of different things that my professors have passed on to me and what has worked really well for me, okay? So number one has been the ice cream scoop from Coach Tim, all right? That's what Coach Tim has taught to me. So regardless if I'm in this seatbelt position, I need this arm in here, all right? 
And so I may be right here, and he's fighting with my, his hands. He's got his hands on my wrist. So put your hands on my wrist, bro. So he knows I want to get it up in his neck. And he keeps his chin tucked, all right? So I may pull my hand out, and I'm going to make the scoop, all right? So it looks like this. And I, I'm scooping ice cream. I'm scooping ice cream. And so I find his jawline. I'm not going to hurt you. And I'm going to dig into that jawline, and I'm going to scoop under his chin. All right? Now, in real life, that knuckle is jamming into his jawbone, and it rips his face across, bringing his chin across and up. And that's how I get the underneath effect. Okay? So the ice cream scoop method works for getting under the chin that Coach Tim taught me. Coach Josh taught me the saw method. So when I was in first getting into MMA, everyone doesn't want to get choked, okay? So what we would do is I would come under, and the guy's grabbing my arm, both, both arms. So I would come in with this hand over his nose, and I would just, I'm not gonna do it to you, and I would rub back and forth, ripping his nose off his face. And this would eventually bring his chest up, I mean his chin up, and I would get my choke in, all right? So Coach Tim would do the ice cream method he taught me. Coach Josh would do the saw method, all right? Another method, which is pretty basic, everyone knows it is constantly just the switch factor. So I'm in here, so Brett goes to defend, and I just keep sliding my hand underneath and sliding my hand underneath until one goes, because I'm just simply sliding under my arms, and he can't defend too many passes, all right? Now, some guys are very good, and they keep that chin tucked the whole time, all right? So Kit, Coach Tim taught me this, he said from Carlson Gracie, he said, what happens when they keep the chin tucked? You just can't get it up. All right. So I got it under. He grabs my wrist. He's pulling me down. He keeps his chin tucked. Okay. He come across their face underneath. You wrap it up and you simply just <laughs> crush his face. All right. You give them the option. Break their teeth and send their nose through the back of their skull or get choked. It's up to them, all right? And that works very, 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 very well. Now, kind of a dick move, but if you got good training partners, they don't care, they laugh it off, all right? Now, here's a little special secret. If you take your mouth and drop it and pull your chin back, you can't breathe. It chokes yourself out in the front. So guys that keep their chin tucked you can actually still choke them with your chin stuck inside your elbow. So maybe they're chucking right here, and that's fine. You're gonna wrap everything up the same way. You would come on the inside. Well, I'm gonna make sure you get his chin's tucked, all right? And I'm going to bring his chin down inside of his head and just keep squeezing, all right? Now, sometimes they'll feel pressure in the jaw first, or this and that, but on a human physiological level, can't breathe and you can and it's jammed up into your throat and you're they're already doing it so they're just basically giving it to you slide that hand in wrap up the bicep put the form behind the neck and begin to squeeze and they're done all right remember it's like a snake snakes get tighter and tighter and tighter realistically it takes about 10 seconds for someone to choke out if you have that position and they haven't choked out by 10 seconds, do not let go. Just simply readjust your position. It could be your hands, it could be your elbows, something you're not paying attention to. Regardless, they're in a bad position, all right? That's how to perform the rear naked choke against people who can defend and how to get in there more effectively and do the RNC on a higher level opponent.